I'm going into the bin. Can climate change cause pandemics? Cause is a really strong uh, word. Reaching into the box. Does climate change affect natural disasters? So we know uh, from years of research now that extreme events are increasing in frequency and intensity around the world, particularly hot events, wet events in some areas, the, the severity of drought, flooding, uh, particularly from land falling storms. In my research group, we've tried to quantify not only how these uh, hazards are changing, but also the impacts. We find that the financial costs of flooding in the United States over the last three decades, about a third of the financial costs of flooding have been contributed by intensifying precipitation, the, the wettest events getting wetter. So that's billions of dollars a year. The kinds of extreme events that contribute to disasters are increasing, and we also now know that they are contributing to the cost of those events. Reaching into the basket. Does climate change make winter colder? There are some theories about ways in which global warming could change the atmospheric circulation in a way that might create more severe cold in the middle latitudes. This is hotly debated. What I would emphasize uh, is that warming overall and increasing severity of, of hot events doesn't mean that we won't still get cold events. You know, Steph Curry uh, is a great free throw shooter, statistically one of the best of all time, makes about 90%, 9 out of 10 of every free throw that he attempts. If you turn on the basketball game and see Steph Curry shooting a free throw and he misses, you might be disappointed, but uh, that doesn't invalidate the fact that Steph Curry is a great free throw shooter. In fact, it's very consistent with the overall trend. Is climate change a social issue? Uh, so climate change absolutely is affecting society. We have very clear evidence of this. Much of this is from extreme events, from heat waves and uh, intense precipitation and flooding and wildfires. And uh, you know, it's not just that we're being impacted overall. The most vulnerable communities and individuals are being impacted particularly acutely. Uh, one example from research here at Stanford that I've done with my colleague Marshall Burke, a large number of countries that are already warmed and have large fractions of their populations that are in poverty, those countries have had their economic growth dragged down by global warming. Countries like India, Nigeria, Brazil, their per capita GDP today is anywhere from 25 to 30 percent lower than it would have been in a world without global warming. And as a result, economic inequality across the world, the difference between the richest countries and the poorest countries is greater today than it would have been if global warming hadn't already happened. How does climate change affect animals? Let's get an expert in here. Is climate change getting better? Greenhouse gas emissions are continuing. Even during COVID, uh, we had about a 5.5% decline in carbon dioxide emissions in the first year of COVID, but that rebounded to pre-pandemic levels in the second year, and now we're up above pre-pandemic levels. As a result, greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere continue to increase, and global warming continues. We do know that stabilizing the climate system will require reaching net zero emissions. And this is just the fundamental physics of the planet. As long as we're emitting greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, increasing the concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, we'll continue to get warming and climate change. We certainly uh, can stabilize the climate system, but at the moment, we're actually uh, experiencing continued global warming, continued climate change, and accelerating impacts from that climate change. How does climate change affect agriculture? I'm gonna save that one for David Lobel. You're definitely talking to him, right? All right, reaching into the box. Is climate change reversible? So in theory, over long time scales, there are aspects of climate change that could be reversible, uh, particularly for global warming. If you know, we were to draw down uh, greenhouse gas concentrations to their pre-industrial levels. Some of the warming that's already happened could be reversed. However, 
That's not the trajectory we're on. At this point, the question is, uh, will we be able to stabilize global warming, not reverse global warming? And it's really important to keep in mind that there are some aspects of climate change that w will be impossible to reverse, particularly on our societal time scale. So if we think about the large ice sheets, for instance, you know, it took you know, in the case of those large ice sheets in, in, in Greenland and Antarctica, not just thousands of years, but even longer for those ice sheets to accumulate. You know, if an ice sheet is, is uh, lost off of one of those continents, we will not be able to reverse that on our time scales. There are uh, small island countries that are at risk of being submerged by sea level rise from those uh, large ice sheets melting. If that happens, that will not be reversible on, on our human time scales. And similarly with extinction and other kinds of large scale ecosystem loss will not be reversible uh, on our time scales. Well, yeah, it goes a lot faster if you skip them.